Hey there, beautiful Capricorn. I had to start this video twice because my timer went off and the bacon was finished. My whole house smells like bacon right now. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but uh, it is the middle of May and I am curious about what might be holding you up from whatever it is that you're waiting for. What What is distracting you or a better way of putting it, what's draining your energy so that you're not able to attract the right kind of opportunities and people right now. And so <clears throat> my feeling is that there's somebody in the past who has a message for you. So let yourself think of someone an ex, a uh, former boss, uh, somebody you knew in college, um, some your first breakup, uh, could even be a family member, part of your, your family that you haven't talked to for a long time. But let your mind organically come up with someone. And Capricorn, let's take a peek and see. We'll do a quick tarot story here and see what that message is. Okay, so we're going to lead off here with the Six of Cups. So it is a time of reminiscing. Um, they're, the person, whoever this is, they're in a nostalgic time where for whatever, uh, whatever is the circumstance going on with them, they are thinking of you. And they are definitely having to look at the fact that there's, I, do you know the word poignant? It's like this sweet energy that, um, that is, um, almost makes the person feel lonely. And now the lovers come. So it does look like that there are some of you who are watching who definitely had a situation with a former lover uh, or partner that um, that it did not end well. And so that there are, um, there are pangs of pain that the person, I think that maybe they hadn't been aware of them and they're just like coming to an awareness that, oh my gosh, they still have really strong feelings. There's, um, again, this youthful thing. Um, perhaps this person was younger than you. Maybe that's what's going on here. That um, there was a person in your past that was younger and too much younger at the time. But now in the second part of their life, their, their feeling about you, that fondness and the affection that they had, um, it, even though there was something forbidden about it, and there was a lot of confusion going on at the time that um, is he, this person has gotten the clarity that they're looking for because there's some parts of the dark side, Capricorn, there's parts of the shadowy part of your personality and of their personality that might be in the way. Um, they, at this point, they are able to work on things. In fact, they've been working a lot on themselves and taking responsibility for what happened in the situation in the past and really showing maturity and diligence and the desire to work at something. So what is the message? Okay, they they see you as the empress, all right? So they are, this, this reading has the feeling of somebody in the past who really wants to make amends that whatever it was that happened, this you could swing this to work, or you could swing it to romance, or even family. But to me, the energy is all about someone who has taken responsibility, and maybe they don't even know how to reconnect. So my advice to you, Capricorn, is don't be surprised if somebody reaches out to you from the past, um, and, uh, and with good news, and your tendency, you, you, you may feel like you need to have guarded up. You need to have be guarded. But just, I would say that the angels are saying to be soft towards this person, allow them to tell their story to you and um, have compassion for yourself and for them too. So interesting reading. Be sure to um, send a note to me or make a comment if this rang true for you. And I wish you all the best and good luck with this person. They do deserve you to, uh, they deserve a chance to explain themselves. Go forth and prosper. We'll see you at our next reading, Capricorn.